Hello, Preach. Uh, Finnish music, traditional Finnish, Finnish music. Well, I grew up to classical as first, you know, Jean Sibelius, and uh, there's a lot of good classical here. Uh, but I guess very popular music is Schlager in Finland. There's a lot of Schlager kind of stuff, which I was never into, and I never sang, and it doesn't really become me. It's not my kind of thing. But in rock and roll, there was some cool rock and roll bands. There's a band called Hurry Gains with a G, Hurry Gains. And they have a, had an album out. There's an album called Roadrunner, and that was a classic. That's still a classic. Uh, there's a song, Get On, that uh, it's almost like a national anthem in rock and roll in Finland. Everybody knows it. We actually covered it, uh, but it never came out in Finland for some reason. It came out as a bonus track in Japan on the Horns and Halos album. Um, uh, that whole album was fantastic. Roadrunner by the Hurricanes. The guitar player, Albert Järvinen, may he rest in peace, He is one of the he was one of the greatest players in the world. Actually, I played him from little Steven to Steve Stevens to people, you know, top guitar players and people in the world, and everybody thinks, "Wow, this guy is amazing." He actually did a collaboration with Lemmy in the '70s. They did a song together. I forgot what it was, but they did something with Lemmy, and he was asked to after he left the Hurricanes. He he left the Hurricanes after that album, the Roadrunner album, and. Uh, But he returned to the band later on, like in the early 80s. Uh, there's an album called 1018, which has some good stuff on it. But uh, he was asked to join Dr. Feelgood when Wilka Johnson left the band. You know, And I think it was Nick Lowe that asked him also to play with in his band. But uh, Albert never left Finland, you know, so unfortunately, you know, he would have been would have been great. The Finnish mentality is kind of like, you know, well, you know, Too modest, uh, too uh, you know, humble. It's hum humility is a great quality, but not, they kind of like excuse me for existing. You know, I'm not. You know, don't even speak the language. Ah, and, you know, let it go. And uh, there's a great, there's some great talent here. Another guy I recommend is Dave Lindholm. He is an amazing guitarist. He had a a great songwriter. He's been writing. He's probably put out close to 20 albums now, uh, at least. Uh, he's been around since the 60s and 70s, and he lived in uh, in uh, Chicago sometime, I think, in, in the States. And um, he loves the blues. He had a band called Rock and Roll, the Rock and Roll Band. Uh, they had an album called Everybody Loves Dance Music. Sometimes It came out in '74 or something like that. That's a great album. There's a song called I'm Gonna Roll, which is one of my favorite songs of all time. It's a great, great rock song. Uh, so Dave Lindholm, he had some, uh, he had he had a band called Blue Sounds. They made a couple of albums. They had a band called uh, Pen Lee at Company, and uh, yeah, but mostly he writes songs in Finnish nowadays. But he's one of the greatest artists artists in Finland. I recommend for sure. So I grew up on stuff like that. Uh, also another kind of prog, progish kind of pop uh, uh, band called Wigwam. Uh, Wigwam, you know, as a, with no dash in the middle, because there's another glammy kind of band that came a couple of years ago, a few years ago, uh, I think it's a Norwegian band called Wigwam, but it's spelled differently. Ha anyways, these guys were, this Finnish Wigwam, they started in the late 60s, and uh, uh, Jim Pembroke is an uh, uh, English guy who uh, moved to Finland in the 60s. He was the main songwriter. Uh, he, uh, he actually had... Um, Uh, there's an album called Nuclear Nightclub, which is the best album, I think, that they made as a whole. And uh, another album called Lucky Golden Stripes and Star Pose, <laughs> whatever that means, it was great. And they had an album called The uh, Dark Album as well. And uh, yeah, so especially that Jim Pembroke, that period after the Nuclear Nightclub, you know, uh, in the 70s, like 75, I think that one, that one was... Uh, That's some of my favorite stuff. It's very different, you know. It's progressive, kind of, really their own kind of thing. Different influences. I'm sure they were influenced by Pink Floyd, maybe Purple Harum, stuff like that. But uh, really cool stuff. Uh, so that's one of my favorite Finnish bands as well. And Jukka Tolonen is a great guitar player, too. Uh, But yeah, there's there's good rock and roll, good rock pop music in Finland. And uh, that's what I grew up listening to, apart from the... Uh, music from abroad so uh it was not only schlager which is always big in finland <laughs> i'm sure it's in germany too but uh yeah there's good stuff here check it out check those names out
Thank you.